Ladies and gents, welcome back to Indonesia. I am your host, Sefian FM. Today, we are hitting up Madura United. We're doing them again just because it's where they lie in the schedule. Uh, we do, I'm just going to finish out the season after this. So, we do still lie in first, but the difference between first, second, and third is diminishing really quickly. And it's getting a little scary. So, Bali United and Arema are right on our heels. 17-4 and 6 with 55 points. Uh, Bali United with 52 and Arema with 51. So, it's going to be a tough end of the season. And as you can see, we are not doing very well since our last stupid 2-0 Barita Putra loss. We did come back with a 1-0 over Persija, Fandiakma getting the goal. Then we completely baffled the Indonesian Cup third round, first and second leg, tied to whoever the frick that is, and then lost in the away match. It was not fun. Um, but in the meantime, we did get a 2-0 win over Persipura. If we don't win the Indonesian Cup, obviously, I still want to progress in the league. So we've got, what, seven games left. So hopefully, Madura United... We can get one over. We did lose 1-2 to two in the first meeting. I don't know what's going to happen, so we will find out. Um, but Persiba, 1-2 to two loss. And then Mitra Kukar, 0-4. We got our asses handed to us. There is no other question about that. Where is Mitra? Wow. They're in 8th place. So we are getting smashed lately. And it seems to be... You know, obviously, my typical is storm through the first three quarters of the league and then just completely fail the last quarter, and this is what's happening again. So, but that is the schedule. We have no transfers coming in. Um, the transfer window is over. As you can tell, it's November 17th already. Nobody came in, I think. Uh, who was the last? Was Yusef Hermawan, who is a loan listy. He's on loan with us. However, we do have an option to buy, I do believe. He's got good potential, but he hasn't really gotten any game time. I mean, four appearances off the bench, 6-6-7. Not been stellar, so I may not pick him up after all. And this summer, we may just do a complete clear out. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, Bongo has decided he's okay with staying for right now, but still wants to leave in the next uh, transfer window. Is there anyone? No, Refon still wants uh, increase in first team soccer, so I guess I have to give it to him. He's only got three days left. Pratama's finally happy. Everyone's happy except for Refon. So we will see. Let's get into this game. So the match preview. We are favorites. Thankfully, we are at home. So hopefully we can pick up a win and finally finish out the season in good form. But I did say Ferdi and Saya, no, but we're going to go with... Where the freak did Refon go? What the... Oh, because it's up here, you dumbass. So, this is who we're going to have. This is how we're going to line up. So, Gali has been just that close to bitching about the fact that Pratama was in goal for most of these games. Simply because, you know, I would rather have Gali in, but Pratama I didn't want leaving, so I wanted to make him happy. Gali is back. Pratama's happy now. So, Lestaluhu, Rosati Refund, and Ritonga in the back four. Refund, like I said, is coming in simply because he wants game time. And this is my last opportunity within the three days left that he's got on this bitching mode. So, Maniani, Triaji, Jantra, and Suharlan are in the midfield. And Gumlang and Akhmad up front. One thing to note as I go back to this uh, match preview screen. Omar Ziennadine is away on international duty with Lebanon. So, he will not be able to play. Oh, well. So we'll submit this team and get going. So we're stepping out of the home stadium. There are a fair bunch of people here. And finally, we have people behind the net. So thankfully, I don't have sounds on. Marcel Sacramento. And dude here is pale as can be. Um, you guys. Okay. Might need to deal with that just a little better. And time is screaming by. Wow. Ten minutes already. Uh, hello? There we go. Lestaluhu with the throw in into Triagi. Bounce it off of Paleface. But no one seems to want to pick it up. Come on, guys. I know Encourage won't happen until the next round, but wow! See, is this the time where I should switch up the... Um, okay. Should I switch up the tactics a little? And maybe go with a more attacking... Why are you not going after the fucking ball? But if I switch up the tactics, maybe they'll get out of their 4-4-2 mindsets? I don't know. There's no reason. I mean, the beginning of the season, 
they're all gung ho and grabbing the ball and doing whatever they can, but now they're just like, yeah, it's not my problem. See, and this is again a th probably a 3D versus a 2D thing. The match engine just is not there to deal with it. Gumalong, yes, finally Gumalong is getting on the case. Look at all these Waldos here. Damn, there's a lot of people behind the net, but nobody near. So Akmad gets it past number 15. That was a great cross. No one decides on their team to just head it out. But Gumalong into the Waldo section. Gumalong has, has had his issues in, in the past couple of matches. And I'm very happy to see him actually get back in the score sheet. I'm sure he's scored since, you know, he's had issues, but. So Setuan, is, that's not one of ours, is it? Wow. Oh. So ZZ Top is getting a goal back. So it's one all in the 22nd minute. Well, might as well watch this. So our back four is does a fairly good job being static, but then who's this? Rosati. So you guys need to close down on the ball. Okay, we're adding a couple of tactical changes in just to make sure that our their wingers are closed down a bit more. There we go. So maybe that's what I need to do. I mean, have these guys close down their opponents a little bit more, and then you'll actually run after the ball? I don't know. But up to Suharlan. Crosses it into nobody. Uh, Maniani there. Gets a shot off, but right at the post and at the keeper. Is out for a corner. Maniani throws it in. Akhmad is Harlan. Why are you shooting outside the box? That is not going to happen. Okay, work the ball in the box. In 32 minutes, we're quickly heading into halftime. We did have a good spell there, but... Uh-oh. Okay. So our defensive line is horrific right now. Luckily, theirs is worse. Is that Frankie? Okay, Maniani. Wow, that was a definite pin ball session there. Out to Lestaluhu, in the triage. You're playing a very slow tempo. And I know I don't believe I have you going too slow a tempo, but you're retaining the ball until Gumalong blows it. And then you guys lose the ball in a very bad section. Luckily, that cross isn't very good. So I'm going to leave it at that. Freddy Inside comes on for refund. Can he do any better? Okay, we're going 70 minutes. So show some passion. Oh, nice grab, golly. That could have been just horrific for us. So Ritonga with the throw into Jantra, into Triaji. Oh my lord. I would have gotten on his case if that wasn't actually a good shot like it was. So it looks like Lestaluhu's picking it up a little. Akma, Tri why? Okay, dude. Triage needs to stop shooting it. Why can't I do shoot less often? Already active for this role in duty, then why the fuck is he shooting it? Shoot less often means don't shoot it so much. You've had two shots in the past five seconds. Domaniani with a corner. Bangs it up to Ferdi and Sai, Triage and Ferdi and Sai again, and that was a horrific shot. That was a badass shot. And I don't mean badass is in the good way. So Triage cannot make it in. So Harlan. Damn. I actually thought that was hit so hard it was going way over. But Triage with the free kick. Bang back out to Triage, headed back into Suharlan. One touch, two touch, and in the back of the net. So, 81st minute. Okay. Now, can we hold on to this? RCA, Triage, Jantra, Gumalong. Okay, back out to RCA, but he's got to track back. Triage, there's a bunch of people in front of net, or at least closer to net. And then Gumalong just smacks it off some other defenders. So, oh, thank God. So, I don't know what, I guess that was just a talking to. For fuck's sake, my phone is going off like crazy. 
So, triage. And that's it. That's what you gave me. I don't understand this game sometimes. That was a hor just a horrific kick from the keeper. Um. Whoa! And that's a penalty. Oh, no. Thank God. So, golly, with 30, 30 seconds left, killing some time. There we go. Don't get the yellow. But, come on. At least try and get it to a player. So, Milanovic... Mil 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 Milovanovic? Milovanic. No, I don't know. Whatever. So, 10 seconds left. Can they even get the ball forward? That is the game. Two to one we win at home. Oh my god. I predicted a draw before the match, and to be honest, I'm surprised the Paris Mom have been able to win this one. Yeah, I am too, to be honest. So, not everyone. I'm going to do a calm. Oh, it's okay. I just want them happy. So, our next match is against Silicon United. I am going to play the rest of this offline. Uh, so, next time we're going to be coming back as Arema, and we will see how we do. So... As we stand, we are still sitting first, 18-4 and 6, 58 points. To Bali United's 53, so that means we have at least two games that we stay in first. And that is a very good thing, considering that means we have four games afterwards that we have to fight for a title if we don't win these two. So, 2-1 to one loss though, 9,705 people in front of our home crowd, or for our home crowd, so that makes me happy. So, I actually did... It's still in progress with two days left. Dude, I can't play you again. So I guess if you're not happy, then sucks to be you. So anyway, so that does it for me, folks. I am going to head on out and finish these games, and I will come back to you with Arema. So thank you so much, as always, for watching. Take care and enjoy.